This is Jeffrey Drazen for the New England Journal of Medicine. Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, also known as COPD, is a condition in which expiratory airflow is irreversibly obstructed. The key diagnostic criterion, measured by spirometry, is a post-bronchodilator ratio of the forced expiratory volume in the first second to the forced vital capacity of less than 0.7. Smokers often have symptoms of COPD, such as cough, shortness of breath, and sputum production, but some smokers have these symptoms but do not meet the lung function diagnostic criteria for COPD. What disease do they have? In this study, a cohort of over 2,700 adults were either healthy non-smokers, the controls, or smokers with a history of more than 20 pack years. The smokers were subdivided into those with preserved spirometry and those with obstructive spirometry. Both of these subgroups were further subdivided according to whether they had symptoms of COPD as measured by the COPD Assessment Test, or CAT. This test measures COPD symptoms such as cough and shortness of breath on a 0 to 40 scale with a score of 10 or more indicating COPD symptoms that limit quality of life. The investigators found that half the smokers with preserved spirometry had CAT scores of 10 or more. At a median follow-up of more than two years, these symptomatic smokers were more likely to experience respiratory exacerbations consistent with COPD than smokers with CAT scores of less than 10 and the non-smokers. Thus, despite not meeting lung function diagnostic criteria for COPD, there's a group of smokers who have exacerbations, use medications for, and have symptoms of COPD. Do we need a new diagnostic rubric? Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.